Scientists tell KITV4 the eruption is contained within the crater at the summit caldera right now. The eruption began just after 4.30 today. The USGS says lava fountains burst up to 30 meters tonight, with some reaching up to 50 meters earlier in the day. KITV4's Tom George is taking in the sights up close tonight. He joins us live from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And Tom, there's a lot of people out there tonight trying to catch a glimpse. There are, and you know, Rick and Mika, there really is nothing like it. You, even if you've seen it before, there's just uh, nothing like the feeling as you pull up and you see that beautiful orange glow. And of course, uh, this all came on all of a sudden this afternoon, as you mentioned, about 4.30 in the afternoon. Madam Pele didn't take a break already uh, after a month. It is back erupting again. We got that alert, and then just a uh, short time after that, we got confirmation it was, in fact, erupting again. And this lava lake filled up pretty quick right now, as you see right here. Look at that. You can still see those multiple little fountains uh, creating those ripples, those uh, that pool of lava filling up the Hale Ma'u Ma'u crater right now, creating those beautiful ripples and patterns. As you said, 300 acres worth of that lava lake. But the key is, as you mentioned, this is what we want to happen. We don't want it to get out of the park. We don't want it to be like 2018, uh, where it impacted homes and uh, had an impact outside of the park itself here on the Big Island. This is what you want to happen. It's entirely contained here at the National Park. Things have been pretty orderly so far. We did see a lot of people on our flight from Oahu excited to um, see this lava in person, but things were pretty orderly. There was a little bit of traffic on the road from Hilo up to the park, but um, people were being escorted in pretty smoothly. Uh, we were able to find a parking spot, but definitely dozens of people up here wanting to check this out. Of course, uh, we also were excited to check it out. Uh, even as journalists, this is uh, these are the moments we live for. And, uh, you know, Mika, as we can attest, uh, when Mauna Loa happened, I had a broken knee, so I was so mad that I missed one. And then, you know, this happened and you get this opportunity opportunity to witness this uh, beautiful sight out here. And a lot of people are going to be out here throughout the night checking it out. Of course, we'll be out here uh, taking in the sights and sounds as well. For now, we'll send it back to you guys.